Well, Stony Brook University Hospital is not accepting all Obamacare plans. This is the latest in a tense situation facing Long Islanders who use the public health care exchange to get their new insurance. News 12's health reporter Sherry Einhorn joining us now with more. Sherry. Well, Stacy, it's a work in progress. That according to Stony Brook's CEO tonight, he told me in a perfect world, this would all have been hammered out before people started buying their health plans. But as we've been telling you for weeks now, the rollout of the Affordable Care Act hasn't been that smooth. She looked at the card, she looked up on the wall, and she said, sorry, we don't take your insurance. I said, what do you mean you don't take my insurance? Bruce Johnston says the shocker came last month here at the cancer center at Stony Brook University Hospital. He has stage four cancer and had an appointment to see his oncologist. It leaves me high and dry. I mean, you know, it's, it's nothing to fool around with. This is my life. We checked with Stony Brook and were told the hospital does take the United Healthcare Plan Johnston is enrolled in. They're looking into his specific case and how this could have happened. But if you've been watching the news lately, you know there's a lot of confusion over health insurance. The Affordable Care Act, which plans are offered where, and who accepts what. Johnston may have gotten caught up in the confusion here at Stony Brook. As of now, the hospital isn't accepting any of the eight plans offered in Suffolk County through New York's health exchange. The CEO told me tonight they've been negotiating for a while now. One of the major sticking points, reimbursement rates that the hospital says are so low, they wouldn't even come close to covering the cost of providing the treatment. But, says Dr. Reuven Pasternak, they have been actively negotiating with six of the eight plans. We believe we are uh, imminently signing a contract within the next several days. And this is a contract with which we have been working for a good period of time. This will then get us into two exchange products. So this breaks the ice. Now, Stony Brook's CEO made it very, very clear that if you're told no, the hospital doesn't accept your plan, you may still be able to get treatment there. The hospital has been negotiating on a case-by-case -case basis directly with insurance companies. If you have that problem, call this helpline. It's 631-444-4392. Someone there can help walk you through the appropriate steps. And again, we're expecting to hear back from the hospital regarding Bruce Johnston's case tomorrow. We will definitely let you know what happens. I hope he can get coverage and get everything taken Absolutely. care of. Absolutely. Well,